Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to get started with your Dolphin Power Seller. Before we begin, this tutorial is an overview. However, there are numerous detailed video tutorials on how to customize and use your Dolphin. Also, your USB or Bluetooth headset must be connected to your computer before you open your Dolphin. Now, let's begin. Open your Dolphin. Dolphin opens on the main menu. This screen shows your Dolphin customer number and the 10-digit caller ID number you want to display when you make calls. The power dialer dials lists of telephone numbers for you, one right after the other. The phone list manager is for importing your phone lists and scrubbing do not call numbers. I'll begin with the phone list manager. The phone list manager opens on the import a new phone list tab. Both step one and step two have to be completed to import a phone list. Tutorial videos up on the menu bar is a link to the phone list manager videos that give detailed instructions on how to import a phone list. The view dialing list tab shows all of your imported phone lists. You can view or delete them on this screen. The agent settings tab is used to prepare your dialing lists for your agents if you have all of your agents networked together. Now close the phone list manager. The power dialer is the heart of the Dolphin. The power dialer opens on the main tab and in a few moments you should see ready to dial. When you import a new phone list, a pop-up window will ask you if you want to use the new list now. Click yes and the new list will be loaded and the first record will be displayed. Starting with the red labels on the top left of the screen, these are the contact name and title fields. The lower red labels are the address fields. I'll come back to the last result field shortly. The blue labels are additional contact information fields. The green labels allow you to add 10 additional customized fields for your phone list. The purple and do not call buttons on the right are disposition or call result buttons. When you click on one of these buttons, the call result is stored in the record and it's automatically selected over in the last result field. The last result drop-down box has additional call results to choose from. You can change the call result and you can also add custom call results if needed. To continue, to make your first call, click on Get Next Record. The phone number is now in the telephone number field and is ready to dial. There are two ways to place a call, manual or power dialing. We recommend you begin with manual dialing until you're familiar with the various features you can use during your call. I'll cover those features later in this video. For manual dialing, you're going to use the call, hang up, and get next record buttons. So, to manual dial, click on the blue call button to dial the phone number in the field above and click on hang up to end the call. With manual dialing, you can click on a disposition button or choose a call result during the call or after you hang up. When you're ready to move on to the next call, click on get next record and click on call to dial the next number. You can also manually enter a 10-digit phone number in the telephone number field by either typing the number in with your keyboard or using your mouse to click on the numbers on the keypad. The keypad can also be used if you reach an auto attendant and need to make a selection from a menu. On to power dialing. When you're power dialing, the numbers in your list are automatically dialed for you one right after the other. To begin, click the green Start Power Dialing button and it automatically starts calling. In most cases, when you're power dialing, you must be finished speaking with the person because as soon as you click on a disposition button, the dialer will mark the call result for you, automatically hang up the call, get the next record, and dial the new phone number. 
Also, when power dialing, in most cases, if there is no answer or a number is busy or disconnected, the dialer will disposition the result for you and automatically move on to the next call. Now to the features. Whether you're manual or power dialing, when someone answers live, you will hear them say hello and you can speak to them immediately. While talking, you can add to or modify the information you see on the screen. There's also a place to make notes. If you need help remembering what to say, there are four scripts you can create in advance that you can use during your call. If the person wants to be called back at another time, you can set a callback. While you're talking with someone, you can send them an email from any one of your six pre-typed emails, and you can include attachments. You can also email a copy of your screen to someone, such as your supervisor. Another feature of Dolphin allows you to transfer calls as blind transfers or supervised transfers, as well as have three-way conference calls. You also have the ability to record a single phone conversation or you can record all calls. The recordings are stored locally on the agent's computers. When you're calling someone and you reach an answering machine or voicemail, you can either click one button and move on to the next call or leave a live or pre-recorded message. The pre-recorded message feature is the PAM, which is an abbreviation for place a message. You can create and use multiple PAM recordings with your Dolphin. You can also personalize your message before you click the PAM button that has the message you want to play. And while your message is playing, you can move on to another call. The System List View tab opens to your currently active phone list. On this page, you can view your current list, select a new phone list, or go back to an existing phone list and continue to dial from where you left off. You can also adjust your number of rings and other various settings. To close the power dialer, click on File and select Exit. The Reports Update Tools tab has some helpful links to apps and web pages. On the Help tab, you can see our contact information and hours of operation. The Video Tutorials button takes you directly to all of the Dolphin videos I spoke of at the beginning of this tutorial. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.